This is a quick walkthrough of the 2021 digital household booklet where you can track your expenses with Google Sheets. You probably found this template in the newest medium writing. Uh, you click the link which brought you to this template and you notice that you cannot edit it. Now I put some instructions in this beautiful image. Please do not request edit access. Instead, click on file, make a copy, change the name if you want. Change wherever you want to save it, then click OK. Now we are being taken to our own copy of this template. No one else has access to it but you. And you will be able to see this by this little lock icon on the button and the text private to only me. We already made a copy so we can get rid of this image. We do not need it anymore. There's a few things we need to do to set up the template. First of all, we want to input all our income here, starting with salary. And you only have to fill out the stuff. If it's fixed for every single month, your income, you can just write it in this area and all the months will copy the value that you have in this area. I will demonstrate it for you. Let's say your salary, your monthly salary is 3k. We put that right there and we see that it automatically gets inserted right there. Maybe you're making 1k here, another 50 euro here and here. If your freelance and selling stuff and whatever income you have is not fixed, you can just leave this empty. And of course, you can also override the names. You can put here whatever you want. Bakery income. Maybe you have a sticker business and per month you can write how much you earned right here. Or 9k, who knows. And per month you can edit and adjust and insert. And you see that whenever you add a digit here, it just get, gets automatically updated. So that's the income section. Then we have the outgoing the expenses, fixed expenses section. Fixed we need to set up only once for the whole year. All these categories we can either delete or adjust. You can do with it whatever you want. I just put it there as an example so you have an idea of what you could put there. But this depends on you. So I want you to go in your banking account or to grab all the bills that you have, monthly recurring forever, and to put those in here. So rent, utilities, uh, car payment gas and then in this column we write down the fixed monthly expense this i'm just writing imaginary numbers utilities who knows 80 car payment 300 gas 50 and you see that whenever i update a number in column b right here it automatically gets copied to the other columns for the rest of the year if one of these numbers deviate for one month you can just overwrite it because right now if i click on this field you can see that it is co directly copying field b14 which is one from column b which is this right here but maybe for this month it was double then we can just overwrite it and there will be no more uh, references to other cells now we have finished the income section fixed expenses section the rest of the template of this overview template we don't need to touch at all we, there's only one thing we need to do we need to update the non-fixed expenses in this tab according to our own because I don't know what your non-fixed categories are that's why I left this here you can delete the stuff that I wrote here and add your own categories food baby food who knows dining clothes um, cookies whatever what whatever non-fixed category you might have then we see then we see that these new categories are automatically copied and all this right here we don't need to touch because all that remains is for you to start tracking your expenses in the monthly tabs and everything that you put in the monthly tabs such as this this is just dummy data you can select it all delete it and start tracking your own expenses Oh, and you see that the drop downs here, they also immediately copy whatever you put in this tab in the non fixed categories. And whenever you update it, everything, every drop down in all the tabs will automatically have the new drop down items in here. So you never have to do it manually. He went out for dinner, he knows. Your book was 20. Oh, it's not even there. Okay, whatever. Cookie. You like cookies, so you spend 20 euros on cookies. And if we go back to overview and look in the column for January, 
then we see that these expenses that we just input in our tab are already there. And as we go, whatever you don't spend will just stay in your account in green. You could also include savings in your fixed expenses. It's up to you. But this is how I ordered the sheet. I wish you fun with expense tracking.